I'm against regulation usually, but but I had a friend who's a libertarian. He tells me have a friend. He tells me he broke it down. He goes, you just shouldn't bother anybody that's not bothering you. So if I am doing coke in my own house, this doesn't actually affect anyone else. So you really shouldn't shouldn't that shouldn't be illegal, you know. Now, if there's a child there, now we're talking about child endangerment, that's the different thing. So if I'm listening to music in my home, that's okay. If there's a downstairs neighbor and I'm banging, like, hey, you're actually coming into my world now. You know, you're actually imposing yourself right. on mine. If you come over and you're like, you won't leave, I'm like, now I can call the cops. You're not leaving my domicile. So this Facebook shit, we didn't agree, and Instagram and all of it, WhatsApp even, we didn't agree to get like, spied on and like advertised to treated like human wallets guided to our thoughts to a certain we didn't agree on that and now we're, we we can't like extricate ourselves from it if you're a mom you have to be on mommy blogs on facebook so you have to be in there and they're tr pushing you and we didn't agree on that we didn't agree to hate our friends but there's a and there's they a, did it to us so the, the, well there's also they overstepped uh, but do we not hold some of the responsibility like if you feel that you are manipulated if you yeah. feel like you are overspending because all these ads is it do we not have the responsibility each and every one of us to turn it off sure <laughs> but you can't you can't it's so addictive can I, you just what i also don't think i that we are that people are well equipped to understand yeah. media literacy and what is going on and what is being fed to them and echo chambers and algorithms. Yeah, they have, and they have engineers g trying to addict you. Right. And you're gonna be like, well, I read a thing. Like um, two months later, like now your your tools don't even work anymore. But I, you know, fight it. I'm just being devil's advocate because I, I totally agree with you, but I'm saying, isn't that, isn't that the economy of our world? Like, aren't I, yeah. um, aren't Attention you- Attention economy. But but it is. Yeah. Aren't you writing jokes and doing shows and appearing here today because you want somebody to notice you and buy mm -hmm. a ticket to come see you at the next place you're at? Like, isn't that about notice me and engage with me yeah. and kind of invest in me? Yeah. So here's the here's the struggle there. There was a poker player that they were like they were interviewing. He's a very Zen guy. I forget his name, but he was like they were like, do you feel bad that your job? is taking money from other people like your wins are their losses and he goes yeah I, for sure but really i'm just trying to best play the best poker i can and right. that's what i gotta believe in and i'm trying to give the entertainment that i see as good and not trying to rile people up i try to actually actively avoid it to put a drop of positivity into the world of negativity but you want to draw an audience yeah sure i'd love to draw an audience Absolutely. So let so, so let like, me give so, you a, a, so the dichotomy of like I want you more online even though I say you should be offline is like yeah I don't know you're more like China like if you're gonna put out um, content yeah. you're gonna make it good for people <laughs> yeah, and I you're gonna to. make people happy and yeah, smile forget your and worries laugh. for a minute yeah but you Got did it. a you did a, a you know a brilliant <laughs> YouTube special you know uh, it, it, you want to bring people to that and that's yeah their time yeah and they engage. And they will, because of that, spend money that maybe they, can, I'm not trying to make you yeah. feel bad, but maybe they can't afford. Maybe, you know, uh, I think people <laughs> don't can, understand yeah. the economy. You know, if, if they can put it away for a minute and come out to a club or a theater and like actually like be off their phone for, for an hour and a half, then it's like, well, that's a great thing. You're doing a public service. Yeah, and just so small then moments politically, of back. So then politically, yeah. when people are posting um, very, um, the, the, whatever their information is yeah. leans to that side yeah. much more than fact maybe yeah. they're saying for a minute i just want to show you what is bad about them you need to know what is bad about them in the same way that you feel you need to spend a minute and laugh with me sure yeah yeah I, it's just very unhealthy so like in miami it's very um looks oriented here too actually la for sure Miami's worse. So if you're a woman, like when, when she was a kid, you know, and you're trying to value her education and try to get her into the right schools and like do your homework, you have a society that's also anywhere else, like also pushing that. Hey, if you get an A, that's good. In Miami, like they don't care about that. They're like, you should look good. And you'll get, you'll get more attention from people if you look good. So if you're a smart woman, your math is going to kind of fade away. It's possible for it to stick with it, but but if you're not getting any positive feedback from 
doing your homework, how much are you going to push it? But if you're doing positive feedback from getting a new hairstyle, it's like, oh, I'll push that more. And so they're a fucking city of dolts. You know, that's the reality of it. And here online, your your attention is based on how can I shit on things? But I will argue with you that we create, and I might just argue yeah. because I think yeah, it makes fun. for good it's content. Yeah, choose, uh, choose you know, argument. I think we create currency. You know, we create what our what currency is. Uh-huh. Um, and, and it's all bullshit. Currency isn't anything it's whatever we believe it is whatever value we put on things okay. to that end um uh, an education i don't th- i don't know that a formal education has any value whatsoever unless you have a specific skill that you want to attain i truly believe that after fourth grade math and the ability to read yeah. you could make it in life above and beyond fourth grade level maybe I think once you learn how to read and once you can do uh, uh, common uh, yeah. math, because okay. our education system does not teach economy. It doesn't teach right, how no. to, you know, buy do a house, taxes. what a mortgage, do your taxes, what value is. Um, buy, you know, people with a $100,000 yeah. job will buy a $200,000 home yeah. in middle America. So you just bought yourself a debt. It doesn't really work that way. Mm. I don't have a GED. I've done really well in business outside of show business. I, I've learned, I, I've kind of taught myself, and but not because I'm yeah, great. You should educate us on that. On real shit. Pardon me? It should educate us on well, real shit. Well, they don't teach us. There's yeah. no context to the education that people get, number one. Yeah. Number two, we put value on Harvard and Yale and and people are, and, and so much so that, that people are willing to put themselves in debt for decades to uh, get a degree, which is not going to bring them the equivalent of that money. To be a doctor today, you can't afford to go to school at least yeah. till your 30s and open up your own practice. You may get a job at Kaiser or something like that, but you won't get, you, you can't really make it. So that you put value on Yale versus another school Good. because yeah. because that's a, uh, you know, that's like I'm wearing a cotton t-shirt that is- yeah, At some point, four. this isn't worth that money. Oh, 50 grand a year, okay, 60 grand a year. 500 grand a year? Like, no. So- so what I would say, I'm yeah. using your Miami analogy. Uh-huh. Um, what the people of Miami have learned sometimes, and I'm, I'm not condoning this, but good looking people are becoming more successful oh, yeah. than non good looking people because they become an influencer. Right. They become, they go on OnlyFans yeah. and make a lot of money. And what they're learning, even though it doesn't seem right, it seems right by old school. Go to school, get it. Listen, she's got a master's degree. She's a teacher. I am so proud of her. This is something that she wanted to pursue. Mm-hmm. It was her passion. She didn't need to do that. And it wasn't about money, you know, but I'm just saying that. You can't, you're not adult if you don't go to school. You're adult if you don't learn. And I think the world is the place to learn and school for the most part until you're in college and you and you pick a, a path yeah. does not teach us anything. Yeah, yeah maybe, <laughs> maybe. It's, well, it look at all the time you spent stuff. at the yeshiva. Did, you, did that teach you anything? It did, buddy. You brought up critical thinking in a great way. Really? Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, I can break things down in a way about our society because I was studying the Gemara so much. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It, it teaches you things you don't realize. Just the way educate, like uh, religion is like, oh, boy, you don't use that. I'm like, yeah, but I'll just, without thinking, you hold the door for an old lady. You know? It's just like, it's it, things are in you. Um, yeah, and you don't think that's who you thing. are rather it, than where you went? It's It's, how much can you fill up your room? You know, you have this giant room. How much can you fill it up with, like, intelligence? Potential is the room. Intelligence is something that you are born with. Yeah. It's not something you garner. Well, that's the potential then. That's knowledge the, like, right. yeah, knowledge, knowledge yeah. is what you... Yeah. Like if nobody had put a guitar in Jimi Hendrix's hand, he still would have had the potential to be what he was. Right. But he wouldn't have been. Like, right. It would be unrealized potential because someone had to teach I think all of us go uh, leave this life with unrealized potential. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, and that's because we lose the uh, curiosity. Curiosity is something that every baby has. Yeah. You know, they always want to put their finger in the in the light socket, but then we don't, at a certain point we don't give a shit anymore. What's around the corner? I've, had, I've, had, I've had Korean barbecue. I don't try it anymore. It's right. Like, All right. Damn, dude. Yeah. Or you know that music. My music is uh, your music. That's not music. That's not. Well, music you're not these listening. Days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly.
<laughs> There's got to be. You're yeah. you're a, such an interesting guy. Do you read a lot? No, I should. This internet is that because your whole uh, upbringing? To. Well, because you were forced to. Yeah, no, but English major in college, I'd read I'd read six to ten books a, a semester per class. Wow. You know? Yeah, it, I just I don't anymore. You I burned out. Force myself to read a book. No a interest. I, I, yeah, I have interest. I just don't do it. I'm stuck on this fucking phone all day. Reading. I hate it. Yeah, it's just. It's well, it's reading. It doesn't have to be a book. Yeah. Are you reading? Are you or Googling? Scrolling. What are you. Scrolling. You're scrolling. A lot of scrolling. Hours a day. Every what do you. What day. So do you, you feel like you just said that that's the problem with society and you can't. You can't detach yourself so from addictive. it. It's so addictive. I had a flip phone for a while. It's so addictive. But isn't that a, as a comedian, it, don't you need that as a source of yeah, that's the problem. comment on? Yeah, that's the problem is like. Is that a problem? You need it. And then also it's like, is it doing more damage than good after a while? I don't know what the pros and cons. You got to weigh out. And you're like, you do need it to promote your shows. But at some point, like, just like we said no, about Harvard, uh, if it was 500 grand a year, you'd be like, no, don't go there. How much addictive versus good would it have to be? There's got to be a line, right? Of, of, if, if I'm on there 10 hours a day and I'm getting 20 minutes of work done, that's no, that's not worth it. So I think we're over the line though. And no one, no one I know says I should be on my phone more. Only people say I should be on there less or I'm on about the right amount of time. See, I, I have uh, that coined phrase FOMO, fear of missing out. Yeah, so sure. I always feel like at the end of yeah. the day, I miss something. I need to be on it more. Yeah. You know, so yeah, and right. that could and be a problem, the, but it's also. Engineers. That's they're doing that to you. When but we I, were young and we were a dork and didn't get invited to a party, you just, you heard about it in high school, like the next day. You know, on Monday, you're like, what? There was a party at the popular kid's house? But now you have to see pictures of it while you're home alone. So you can crash it. it. Yeah, yeah. See, see, we have more of a. We have more, it's a. It's an asset. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. I, I'm. I'm I gotta here. get back on a fucking flip phone. This does suck. You're making me realize too. It's but so aren't you getting? Bad. 